Hey, how's it going? So, uh, this is going to be a very quick uh, video on uh, chain tension and wear. Now, this bicycle that I'm showing you to right now has done about three and a half to four thousand kilometers with the same chain, same uh, chain rings, gears, and everything else. If you look at the top middle part, you will see that the um, chain ring is quite worn but it's it's not completely useless yet now all the parts have done about three and a half thousand kilometers which means that they are pretty much ready to be changed and i'm going to show you uh, and i suggest getting a nitrile rubber rubber gloves for it i'm going to show you how to um, tell if your chain is quite worn out so as you can see i can uh, stretch the, the chain quite a bit and it, it is it is worn out sorry it, it is um, a bit worn but it's not worn out yet so you know there are many uh, many examples on the internet where you can stretch it even more than that and as a comparison the other bike that I'm going to show you in a, in a few seconds um, it has done maybe 500 kilometers, if that. And if you look at the um, teeth of, on the front chain ring now, you will see a huge difference in the um, in the profile. So this is technically a new uh, chain front chain ring, and the other one was quite heavily uh, heavily used. Now this chain is also done 500 kilometers or less and as you can see it's very very difficult for me to stretch it which means that it's tighter it's more firm and it's it, it hasn't worn out yet uh, it will in a few thousand kilometers so that's the easiest way to tell if your chain has worn out or not and if it is you have to change the uh, at least the chain and the rear gears because if they're not changed at the same time they won't mesh together properly all right thanks for watching and have a good one bye bye